Hello bees, hope you're having a good day. As you can see, I'm at my favorite place. You know, the most favorite one in the entire world. And today I thought I might as well just show you what I've done. So I've started welding around that end. Okay, so that's just a quick warehouse update. As you know, now I'm gonna to have to close off this way and then start doing the roof. But I thought, I might use the day to take you away from the warehouse for a bit and talk to you about our beehives at the moment. Today it's about 17 or 18 degrees. It's not very cold, but it's not very warm either. And as you can see, the activity in the beehives has dropped down dramatically. Okay, they don't really like that kind of weather. And well, you, you never know, if the sun comes out, I bet they'll also come out but for the time being the activity is very reduced and what I'm looking for at this time is the front of the beehives you see where they enter so it's, it's a little bit darker around this way okay so this is this is completely normal completely natural normally what I'll be keeping an eye out right now is these little pieces of wood right in front of the entrance becoming very dark and sticky what would that mean is that beehive is getting robbed okay and without me having to open it up to find out what's going on i will know that they are getting bombarded by a bunch of you know invaders whom are stealing away their pollen and honey. Luckily, I can't see any of those signs on these beehives, which is very good because we're going into November now and, you know, come, let, let's say, October, you know, the beekeepers got, you know, no really, you know, no job around the beehives at all. Because really now the beehives are going into a phase where, you know, the, the winter bees have hatched, which they, you know, live longer. They live up to about two to 250 days during the winter. Um, it's 40 during the summer, by the way. And these guys now, because they have no males, okay, the males have been kicked out. They're all dead, okay. Now it's only the, only the females inside and the queen. Okay, so it's very dangerous because the beekeeper's literally got no business touching the beehives at this time of the year. And if he's opening them up just to be curious, then, you know, the proverb, um, curiosity killed the cat. That's exactly what might happen. So if you accidentally squash a queen in between the frame somewhere, uh, which you likely, you know, won't even realize until later on when it's too late, um, well... That's most, you know, that's the most likely scenario of what will happen if you mess around with the beehives unnecessarily. It's just no point. It's better for them. It's better for me. As you know, I've got, you know, a bunch of work going on here. So really there is no point messing about with these guys. Just leave them be. If someone gets robbed, they get robbed. You know, I can't do anything about it. You know, what I've done is... As you can see, I have narrowed down these ones, which have got, um, you know, the plastic entrance cover. Okay, so I've narrowed these down. But for the ones which are different, I've used a piece of cloth. Very simple piece of cloth. And that is a tiny gap right there that I've left. So simple. Right. Okay, guys. I'm gonna get back to it, grab some food, and as you see, I've just finished around this side. You might think this is pretty much halfway through because I'm gonna have another one of those just running up right to the very top. And the reason being is because I'm gonna to have to join the roof ones into, you know, this one. It doesn't make sense to you right now, but it will. Also, we're going to have flooring. So the idea is I'm gonna have the windows sitting on this beam over here going up about 90 centimeters and we're going to have the flooring coming up so it's going to be about six centimeters and the idea is 
go inside, you know, you don't have to knee down to look through the window, but also when you sit down, you'll be able to see outside the window. So that's what's going on in my head. Um, hope you can picture it, but if you can't, then give me a little bit and I'll show you. All right, guys, have a good day. I'll speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.